What's up guys, this is part two of my complete horror VHS collection. Um, I don't have a whole lot of tapes to show off, but I got a good amount, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, and like I said in my last horror VHS collection video, I'm not going to talk about each movie in particular. I'm just going to pull them out, show you guys the cover, say the title, and move on. I might mention a few things here and there, but for the most part, I'm just going to be going through them and showing them off. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And I left off with this right here. This is the original seven Nightmare on Elm Street films. This is the VHS collection that you put them all together and it has that great image of Freddy right there. These are all the digitally remastered releases. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them off. First one is Nightmare on Elm Street, of course. Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors. Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. I really like these new covers. I love the original covers, but I do like these covers as well. Then we have a Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. And New Nightmare. Okay. Now I already showed off this. Uh, this is uh, my single release of New Nightmare. This is the Collector's Edition. I already showed that off, that off in the last video, so I'm not going to go into it. Next one, I have the two first two Phantasm films. The first one is the original Phantasm. I like that artwork. And then we have Phantasm 2, The Ball is Back, one of my all-time favorite horror sequels. Then I have Pet Cemetery, which I love this artwork. I wish the Blu-ray, I like the Blu-ray artwork and I do like the artwork on the DVD, but I also absolutely love this artwork. I love the detail of it. And I even like up here, it has a small quote, sometimes dead is better. Then we have a Pet Cemetery 2, very underrated sequel in my opinion. Phantom of Death with Michael York and Donald Pleasance. Then we got Pumpkinhead. And then this was a tape my dad made of the first three Puppet Master movies. And then I have the actual release of Puppet Master 2. Curse of the Puppet Master, which I haven't seen, but this is a screening, uh, like a screener copy of it. It even has this little sticker on it that says, uh, this screening cassette is being provided to you courtesy of Amazing Fantasy Entertainment. I've never heard of it, but, huh. And then Retro Puppet Master. Then we got some two. These movies aren't really considered horror, but I just have them in here. Uh, Python, which is just a fun giant snake movie. And the sequel, Python 2. Next we got Poltergeist 3. Rosemary's Baby. Shockwaves. Sticks and Stones and Exploration into the Blair Witch Legend. And essentially what this is is like a documentary about people talking about the legend behind uh, the Blair Witch. This came out shortly after the first movie. So this was back during a time when there was a lot of people who still believed that the Blair Witch Project really happened. And this is a documentary that uh, interviews a lot of people that supposedly like citizens of the town. And they basically talk about the entire legend of the Blair Witch and things. It's really interesting. Um, 
you know, it, I mean, of course, you know, now, you know, we all know the Blair Witch legend, you know, isn't really true, but it does talk about the Bell Witch and other sort of witch legends that were around that time that do have some fact in them. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a fan of like documentary horror documentaries, rather they're real or not, I think this is definitely one to check out. It's just a fun one. Next, we got Salem's Lot. The New York Ripper. Naked Vengeance. Then we got Scarecrow Slayer. I I find the three Scarecrow movies to be fun, cheesy films. They're not great. Uh, the first one is the best made out of the three, but I enjoyed this one as well. The third one, uh, Scarecrow Gone Wild, really wasn't that that good, but it had some moments. Then we had Stepfather 2. One of my favorite horror films, Sleepy Hollow. And then Sleepy Hollow High, but the uh, actual, the word high is marked off. I really like this artwork right here. You just got half of a jack-o'-lantern. Looks very creepy. This is essentially like an un, an unrelated Sleepy Hollow, like, it's not, it's not uh, related to this film, the John, the Tim Burton film with Johnny Depp. It's basically just a story about the legend of the Headless Horseman of Sleepy Hollow, and it's about these, uh, sort of delinquent, uh, teenagers that go to Sleepy Hollow High School, and some guy is going around with a jack-o'-lantern, uh, mask on, and is going around and, uh, killing people, and it's, it's a fun movie. It's not great, but it's a fun, low-budget movie that... You know, like I said, it, it's more along the lines of being inspired by the original story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, than it is um, the movie uh, directed by Tim Burton. Then we have uh, Terror in the Isles. It's a great horror compilation, which is uh, hosted by Donald Pleasance. And um, who else? Nant... Uh, yeah, Nancy Allen also hosts this, and it's just a great, it's just a compilation of classic horror scenes from different movies. Then we have The Dark. The Kindred, this is cut. Transformation, tra tr yeah, sorry, Transformations. Just a crazy cover right there. Then we have The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin and Elijah Wood. I've talked about this movie multiple times. Then we got the classic The Terror with Boris Karloff and Jack Nicholson. Then we got Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Then I have two copies of this film, The Haunting. The first one is the special limited edition with this greenish type cover. And then I have this other release. Which, this one's supposed to be the regular version. And then the uh, special limited edition is supposed to have a uh, behind the scenes documentary. However, they both have the documentary. So really the only difference is the difference in cover art. Then we have The Hunger. The Town That Dreaded Sundown. The Guardian. The Vineyard. The Shining. The Sixth Sense, still sealed. Transfers. Not really a horror movie, but Unbreakable. Village of the Damned. 
wax work too. World of Death, which is basically a documentary that is uh, just about death going on in the world. A lot of videos of executions and just and things like that. It's kind of like a death film in a way. Extra 2. The media release of Zombie Island Massacre. And then the Tromo, the Troma release of Zombie Island Massacre. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go up here. I don't know if I if I showed this off or not in my in the last part, but this is the basement big box um, that has a an unreleased, you know, uh, early uh, Sean video horror film from the 70s called The Basement on VHS, as well as five other um, shot on video uh, horror films on DVD. Oh, excuse me. The The Basement is not shot. It's a lost Super 8 film, excuse me. But it's got uh, The Basement on VHS and then five shot on video uh, 80s horror films on DVD. And then over here, we have this shelf that has some special tapes on it. I like this one right here. This is Child's Play. Uh, this is a sealed copy. And then we have Maniac. Again, I mean, not Maniac, Magic sealed, excuse me. And then uh, Bride of Reanimator. And the last of these, these are my Angel Bay clamshells. And I got some cool ones like right here. We got The Midnight Hour. One of my all-time favorites. That needs a Blu-ray release. The Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2. Halloween 4. Halloween 5. Shivers, Dracula, the Prince of Darkness, and Nosferatu. And this one's not a horror movie. And then I have this um, X rental of Hellbound Hell Hellraiser 2. This is the unrated version of it. And the last one is uh, Death Faces 4. And there you go, guys. That is my complete uh, horror VHS collection. Uh, first off, I want to say I'm sorry for messing up the title for that one, Magic. And also, um, excuse me for uh, saying that the movie The Basement in that set was a shot on video film. It's not. It was a lost a Super 8 film. But it does have five bonus uh, shot on video gore films on DVD in that set. So, um, yeah, I do apologize for those couple of mistakes. But anyway guys, that is my complete horror VHS collection. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Let me know down below what you guys think about the videos I showed off. Um, and yeah, let me know if you're still into collecting VHS because I know that there's a huge community of people that enjoy it. I'm part of that community. There's so many different people who continue to collect horror VHS. And um, I'm, I'm definitely one of them. So if you collect them, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.